Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to another tire list. That's right. I've done. I have done a lot of tire lists like Illumination Entertainment, Blue Sky Studios, and Pixar Animation Studios. But studio, well, one studio that I could never forget about was not other than Sony Pictures Animation. Yeah, Sony Animation. Sony is just a good studio that has good movies, but some of them may have bad or terrible ones. I don't know how much it is. Uh, anyways, let's just get started with the tire list. So we're gonna start things off with open. Oh, with oh, let's start and um, let's start things off with open season. So yes, this was the first movie made back in September of two thousand and six. So goes great so a lot of people might hate this movie but open season was just like really good now open season came out in 2006 which is just like the same year with cars because cars came out in june 2006 i still don't get it that but it's still not as one that i thought so then we have the second movie serves up and it goes very good serves up is somehow an awesome movie because actually this saw this movie when i was a kid but Never saw it for like a while, but it's still a nice movie. Next up is Open Season 2. Uh, I think I do have the DVD because this was not a theatrical film and only released in direct to video. So I was just mediocre. Now, I still like these movies. I still like the Open Season movies that I remember when I was a kid. I actually had the second one on DVD, which I'm really happy about. And then we have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Uh, Goes in the great category, cause this movie is such an amazing. Has like food, foods everywhere, everywhere, and getting fall down. Now we have another open season movie, Open Season Three. Now don't get me wrong, I still like the open season movies, but still a lot of people might think about this one. But yeah, so I think it's safe to say that the open season movies might be like, pretty enough. So now we have the Smurfs. To me, this is just like mediocre. I know a lot of people might not like this one, but yeah, some people think that it looks like somehow it's not even that animated because the Smurfs are like live action like animated hybrids. And it even shows like humans for some odd reason. Yeah, the Smurfs is just like not as good as those, but somehow it's so odd to see that. Then we have Arthur Christmas. Uh, I never saw this movie, but it goes in amazing. <laughs> I never seen this movie in my life, but this is a movie that might be pretty good. So I never saw it to Christmas, but it looks interesting to me. Then we have the Pirates Band of Misfits. Uh, this is another of those movies that I haven't seen, so I'm gonna put this one in great, in the great category. This is another of the Sony movies that I have never seen, that I've never seen in my life, because the Pirates Band of Misfits is one of those movies that I have never seen. So then we have Hotel Transylvania. Goes very good. Now, yeah, Hotel Transylvania was most likely a start to a great franchise. Yes, Hotel Transylvania easily became one of the best animated movie franchises of the decade. And yeah, Hotel Transylvania was really, really good. So yeah, I'm not going to lie. Hotel Transylvania is really good. So yeah, really fantastic. Then we have The Smurfs 2. Why would they even make another one? It's so odd to see another film by the Smurfs. So I'll put this one in the mediocre category just like the first one. Yeah, I know people do not like this one because it's so odd to see that one. The Smurfs 2 was just like another of those animated hybrids. Just like the one from 2011. But yeah. But now let's move on to... Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. This is like one of those worst animated movies they have ever made. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 was just bad and terrible. What the heck? This is just a movie that just doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, the first one was good, but the second was ugh, really bad. I don't get it why they ever made like a bad movie like this. Then we have Hotel Transylvania 2. I might put this one in the gray category just because... You know, Dennis, of course, he's the awesome kid. But still, a lot of people think that the Hotel Transylvania series was just really bad. But to me, it's just, like, fantastic. Then we have Goosebumps. Uh, 
don't remember seeing Goosebumps, but it's just mediocre. Yes, another film that's not animated and it's just live action. Now, for some reason, why is there, like, this movie that just doesn't make sense to me? I know, I get it that this movie had, like, stupidity. Then we have the Angry Birds movie. Now, this is a movie that is not made by Sony. This is a movie that was made by Columbia. So, I don't get it why. But I'm going to put this one in mediocre. Because it just doesn't make sense to me why. Then we have another open season. Open season scared silly. A.K.A. Open Season 4. Yeah, why do I think it's even expected that I never thought in my life? It almost feels like a Halloween movie, to be honest. And how would you expect it to see that one? It's just like somehow badass, but Stama not the one as I expected. Then we have Surge Up 2 Wave Mania. Not as good as the first. It's not as good, but maybe I'll put this one in the very good category. No, but let me put it right next to Surge Up. Because Surf's Up is such an amazing movie, to be honest. Then we have The Smurfs, The Lost Village. How would you expect it that this is now animated rather than being the ones from live action? This is so weird that I ever expected to see that. But this is just mediocre along with the other movies that i ever seen. And now we have the Emoji Movie. Alright, let me explain you something. Why would people hate this movie to me it's just good it became one of the worst animated movies of the decade but to me it's just amazing now please do not hate me for this i know a lot of people hated this movie but to me just pretty good just because the emoji movie was fantastic but a lot of people hated it but to me it's just good again please do not hate me for this do not hate me for this then we have the star this one goes in the bad and terrible category Cause for some odd reason, what the heck is this movie about? I did saw this movie, but it was somehow like a a movie about Christmas. How do you even expect it to see that one? But yeah, how odd is that? I don't get it why. So now we have Peter Rabbit, another live action slash animated hybrid. Uh, goes in the bad and terrible category. What the heck is this? I don't even get it why. This is just a movie that's just like the Smurfs or stuff like or the Goosebumps. But yeah, how pretty terrible that is. So then we have Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation. I know so many people dislike the franchise, but yeah. Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation was like a bad one, to be fair. But it's not how people used to hate it. And yes, I heard that there's going to be a new Hotel Transylvania movie. Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania. Now, that's a movie that's going to be released this year in 2021, like in July. But unfortunately, Sony delayed it because of the pandemic, I think. Then they decided to make it in October. But guess what? That never even happened. What the heck is the matter with them? I still don't get it why this keeps happening all the times. But then it got to now go on Amazon Prime instead of theaters. And it's going to be released until January 2022. What is the matter with Sony? Sony's just like a bad studio now. Then we have Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. What the heck is this about? I don't know about this one. I actually never seen this movie for a lot. I've never seen it, but it looks like a Halloween movie that I felt about. Then we have Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. And this one goes in amazing. Because it's one of the best films Sony has ever made. Yeah, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, it's just an amazing movie that people love. Sure, it's a lot of people that we've seen about, but heck, is this a movie that i ever seen, and it's amazing. So then we have the Angry Birds movie too. Now, this is the movie that is actually made by Sony, because Sony didn't distribute the first movie. So, the Angry Birds movie too will probably go on to the great category. I know a lot of people hated it, but... Yeah, it's just an amazing movie I can hardly think about. So then we have Peter Rabbit 2. Ugh. Don't I think I remember this one, but it was bad, terrible. I actually never seen this movie, but it's so amazing to hear that one. Shh! <laughs> That's so amazing to hear that. So now we have The Mitchells vs. The Machines. Yes, one of the most successful Sony movies they have ever made. 
Now, I've never seen this movie. Uh, this movie came out like in this year. This is one of the newest Sony movies ever made. Yeah, The Mitchells vs. The Machines that was released on Netflix back in April 30th, 2021. But yeah, how many people like this one? This is like one of the best films of 2021 so far. Then we have Wish Dragon. Now, this looks like somehow like an Aladdin ripoff, but I'm gonna put this one in the great category. So yeah, this is just a movie that's easily an awesome one, but yeah, pretty nice. And last but not least, we have Vivo. Now, I actually never saw this movie, but I'm gonna put this one in the very good category. Because Vivo is pretty amazing, and I still don't get it why. So yeah, this is another of those movies that came out on Netflix in this year, 2021. But yeah, some people might think it might be good. But yeah, there you have it, guys. This is my tire list of Sony Pictures Animation. What do you think of this tire list? Do you like it or is it not good for you guys? But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know who is your favorite Sony movie. To me, it might be, I think, the Hotel Transylvania series. Because it's such an amazing franchise we can all agree with. But yeah... Now I have like two more tire lists to do, that being Walt Disney Animation Studios and DreamWorks Animation. So thank you guys and see you guys next time. Peace.